G'day YouTube viewers, this is another exciting episode of the Rev Bike series on everything e-bikey. We're the Melbourne e-bike specialists and as you can see right here before me I've got a converted e-bike and we'll be concentrating on the mid motors today or as they're sometimes known chain drives. Uh, this one here is uh, from Bafang, um, they make some very nice mid-drive kits and I'm just going to talk you through this one and, uh, and show you uh, some of their others. So this one here is um, being put on this uh, donor bike, a uh, specialised full suspension, um, quite, a, quite a nice bike with fairly ordinary front shocks but the bike rides quite nicely. Here's the motor down here. Uh, this motor is the HD which is the 1000 watt uh, version of the mid-drive motor from Bafang and uh, it performs very well, it goes very fast and will um, enable you to crawl up some unfeasibly steep hills. If you can hang on then and your tyres are grippy enough then it'll take you up the wall of a house. So um, a few things to, to look at here of course the motor fits down here um, with a little mounting bracket it uh, butts up against the down tube in order so that it's in nice secure position and as you can see um, the pedals can freewheel um, uh, quite nicely and you get the, your normal operation of, uh, of your wheels. Um, here we've got uh, a 12 amp hour 48 volt battery. These kits uh, run best on a 48 volt battery and uh, so that's what we've coupled it with. We've also um, we've got the, the controls up here, we've got a throttle uh, on off, up and down and the LCD display which uh, allows you to see um, all the parameters, speedo um, and everything else that, uh, that your heart desires from there. So how about we get in a bit closer and uh, have a look at this. Okay, here we are around on the drive side of, uh, of the bike. You can see here the Bafang HD. It's uh, noticeable and it has uh, heavier cooling fins because it's uh, running higher amperages and so we're producing higher temperatures in the motor. Those heavier fins just help to uh, wick away some of that heat. The other thing you might notice is that on a mid-drive, you don't have your standard two or three chain rings on the front. You only have the one. Um, uh, this is um, uh, some see see it as a downfall of the uh, mid drive, but I just see it as a chance to be able to uh, streamline the drive chain so that you can still get great performance um, without uh, all that uh, unnecessary uh, changing of the chain rings at the front. As you can see, um, that uh, this chain ring here uh, is is an aftermarket chain ring in that it has a narrow wide tooth pattern on the on the points of the teeth here. Um, what that does is enable the chain to stay on better, uh, less likely to fall off. Um, this type of motor is the sort of, that I would recommend to uh, people with a full susp a suspension mountain bike who would like to um, uh, do a lot more off-road riding. I would also recommend this sort of kit to those that want a high top speed or also want a, uh, a more hill climbing ability because the uh, mid-drive, the great advantage of it is its gearing advantage in that because the power is being driven through the gears and you can change the gearing it means you can have a high torque, low speed motor that will winch itself up any hills or you can have a low torque high speed motor that uh, will take you along at uh, 60 kilometers an hour. So that's one of the advantages. I call the, the mid drive really the thoroughbred uh, in the um, electric bike world as opposed to the hub motor which is really the workhorse. The hub motors are um, reliable, dependable uh, and require a lot less maintenance than the mid drives. One of the reasons the mid drive does require a little bit more maintenance is because it's driving through the chain so you'll get more chain stretch more chain wear and also you need to make sure that your bike is changing gears cleanly because 
there's a lot of pressure on your gears and so uh, this operation needs to be uh, um, smooth in order for you to get uh, great rider satisfaction. Okay, here we are looking at the LCD display and also the control buttons and the throttle um, on the cockpit. So we'll switch on the kit. Our lovely logo floats up. And here we have uh, the LCD display. As you can show, it shows the time, shows the voltage, also has uh, the battery symbol that um, uh, graphically shows how much is left in the battery. Also here have, uh, uh, down below we have uh, a trip meter, we also have the odometer, also a range calculator and uh, how many hours, minutes and seconds the kit has been in operation for. Now uh, in the centre here we have a level of assist, so level assist being the lowest and level 9 being the highest. Here we have the speedo and the number of amps. Plus when the kit is, uh, when the kit is going, I'll just switch it down to a more moderate pace. Uh, when the kit is going, you'll also see here this is a graphical display of speed. And also the red down here it shows how many amps are being pulled. So as you can see, not so many amps being pulled um, here with the bike on the stand. Uh, this uh, LCD display also allows the bike to do more than the standard 50 kilometers an hour under power, which is uh, what the standard uh, Bafang displays uh, do. This is an upgraded version of the display. So as you can see here we've got the throttle, you can have uh, a twist but we prefer the thumb throttle. Uh, up and down buttons for changing the pedal assist. Uh, the central button there changes some of these parameters down here for your viewing pleasure as well as uh, average speed uh, and fewer uh, max speed as well. Uh, and also the on off button for the kit. Okay, one of the uh, amazing things about uh, the Bafang mid drive um, is its ability to be programmed. Three main parameters can be programmed. Uh, we'll show you the screenshots uh, so that uh, you can see all the different bibs and bobs that are on there. But the three things to really look for uh, on the programming is one, we can program the top speed of the of the motor in any of the nine uh, settings that are on the display. So you could program one to three, uh, 25 kilometers an hour, um, four to six at 40 kilometers an hour, and seven to nine all the way up to uh, 60 plus kilometers an hour. So you, we have that ability. We also have the ability to, um, uh, to set the power of, of the assist um, that occurs through the pedals. So um, uh, from uh, one, we usually set that to um, a low power rating coming through the pedals. And then nine is full power um, when you activate the, uh, the pedelec by pedaling, as you can see here. The, uh, the third thing that can be programmed is the amount of power and uh, that you get through the throttle on any of the nine settings. So it makes a very versatile uh, kit in that you can set it up however you want, whether you want full power through the throttle on all the settings or whether you want some of the settings to be tamer on the throttle. Um, uh, the amount of power level that you want to get out of the uh, out of the pedelec on any of the nine settings, um, uh, all of that sort of stuff is programmable. So really means that you can set the bike up exactly the way that you like to ride it, your riding style, and for the terrain and purposes that uh, you wish to use it for. So this is the sort of bike I recommend for those that um, are already riding a bike and feel very confident in. Uh, those that uh, maybe have a full suspension mountain bike would le like to have uh, power assist, would like to keep the weight down lower, and also 
keep less weight out of the wheels so that you have uh, lower unsprung weight so your bike feels more nimble on those uh, bumpy trails. So um, if you're up for um, a lovely bit of kit like this then come and see us at Rev Bikes. Thank you for watching another scintillating Rev Bikes tutorial. I've been Dean, you've been watching Rev Bikes. See you later. Nice.